allows you to see the good in your companion. Pray for the love that makes the weaknesses and mistakes seem small. Pray for the love to make your companion's joy your own. Pray for the love to want to lessen the load and soften the sorrows of your companion. I saw this in my parents' marriage, in my father's final illness, in my mother's final illness. The more uncomfortable she became, the more giving her comfort became the dominant intent of my father's life. He asked that the hospital set up a bed in her room. He was determined to be there to be sure she wanted for nothing. He walked the miles to work each morning and back to her side at night through those difficult times for her. I believe it was a gift from God to him that his power to love grew when it mattered so much to her. I think he was doing what Jesus would have done out of love. Now I give counsel to the parents of a wandering child. The Savior is the perfect example of persisting in love. You remember his words of comfort to the people among the Nephites who had rejected his earlier invitation to come to him. He spoke to the survivors of the destruction which came after his crucifixion. O ye house of Israel, whom I have spared, how oft will I gather you as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, if you return repent and return unto me with full purpose of heart. The story of the prodigal son gives us all hope. The prodigal remembered home, as will your children. They will feel your love drawing them back to you. Elder Orson F. Whitney, in a general conference in 1929, gave a remarkable promise, which I know is true, to the faithful parent who honors the simple, this temple ceiling to their children. Quote, Though some of the sheep may wander, the eye of the shepherd is upon them, and sooner or later they will feel the tentacles of divine providence reaching out after them and drawing them back to the fold. Then he goes on to say, quote, Pray for your careless and disobedient children. Hold on to them with your faith. Hope on, trust on, till you see the salvation of God. You can pray for your children, love them, reach out to them with confidence that Jesus reaches for them with you. When you keep trying, you are doing what Jesus does. Now here is my counsel to children. The Lord gave you a commandment with a promise. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. It is the only one of the Ten Commandments with a promise. You may not have parents that are living. In some cases, you may not feel that your parents are worthy of the honor and respect of their children. You may not even have ever known them, but you owe them life. And in every case, even if your life is not lengthened, its quality will be improved simply by remembering your parents with honor. Now to those who have adopted other people's families as if they were their own, I have friends who remember my children's birthdays better than I do. My wife and I have had friends who seldom failed to visit us or to remember a holiday with us. I often am touched. When someone begins a conversation, how is your family, and then waits to hear the answer, with love showing in their face. They seem attentive even when I go through a description of the life of each of my children. Their love helps me to feel more keenly the love of the Savior for our children. In their question, I can sense that they are feeling what Jesus feels and asking what he would ask. For all of us, it may be hard to see in our lives an increasing power to love and are becoming more like the Savior, our perfect example. I wish to encourage you. You have had evidences that you are moving along the road to becoming more like Jesus. It will help to remember how you have felt at times like a little child, even in the midst of cares and trials. Think of those children singing this song. Think of the times you felt, perhaps recently, as those little children did. I'm trying to be like Jesus. I'm following in his ways. You remember that Jesus asked his disciples to bring the children to him and said, Suffer the little children to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of God. You have felt the 
peace of a pure little child at times when you have tried to be like Jesus. It may have come when you were baptized. He did not need baptism because he was pure. But when you were baptized, you had the feeling of being washed clean like a little child. When he was baptized, the heavens were opened and he heard the voice of his heavenly Father. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. You heard no voice, but you felt the approval of Heavenly Father for having done what Jesus did. You have felt it in your family when you asked the pardon of your spouse or forgave a child for some mistake or disobedience. These moments will come more often as you try to do the things you know Jesus would do. Because of his atonement for you, your childlike obedience will bring a feeling of love of the Savior for you and your love for him. That is one of the gifts that is promised to his faithful disciples. And this gift can come not only to you alone, but also to the loving members of your family. The promise was given in 3 Nephi, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. I hope you will go out today looking for opportunities to do as he did and to love as he loves. I can promise you the peace that you felt as a child will come to you often, and it will linger with you. The promise is true that he made to his disciples. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. None of us is perfect yet, but we can have frequent assurance that we are following along the way. He leads us, and he beckons for us to follow him. I testify that the way lies through faith in Jesus Christ in baptism, in receiving the Holy Ghost, and enduring in love to keep His commandments. I testify that the Father lives and loves us. He loves His beloved Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is our perfect example. Joseph Smith was the prophet of the Restoration. He saw the Father and the Son. I know that is true. This is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The priesthood power to offer the ordinances will allow us to become better and better and more like the Savior and our Heavenly Father. I leave you my blessing that you may feel the assurance and the approval you felt as a little child. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.